Hello everyone, welcome to my video and for the first time I would like to introduce myself My name is Putu Dian Juni Antari but you can call me Dian My name is 181-202-1054 I'm from Ganesha University of Education major in English Language Education Today, in this video or in this session, I would like to explain the strategy of learning, especially expository learning strategy in process of learning. Well, I have three topics and the topics are first, what is expository learning strategy? And the second one is why expository learning strategy is important in the process of learning and the third how to implement the expository learning strategy in the classroom well let's discuss the three topics first what is expository learning strategy Expository learning strategy is one of strategy of learning that focus on the teacher. It means the teacher is more dominant is and also the teacher is more important than the students in the process of learning. The strategy is emphasizing the process of delivering material verbally from the teacher to a group of students with the intention the students can understand the material completely well it's meant in the classroom process the stu the teacher just only explain implement the material with the complete and complex way and the students only sit down and listen the material that they got by the teachers well and the second one topic is why expository learning strategy is important in process of learning because expository learning strategy can help the students to understand the material completely and also they can repeat the material that they got by the teacher and also this strategy can improve their listening skill and the third to make you understand more with expository learning strategy i would like to explain i would like to practice how to implement expository learning strategy in the classroom to complete way to complete information i hope you keep watching my video hello good morning class Repeat once again. Good morning, class. Okay, very good. Well, how are you today? Why you are not excited? How are you today? Okay, very good. And I'm very well, thank you. Well, this is our first meeting. I want to ask something to you. Do you know my name? No. All right. My name is Putu Dian Juni Antari. But you can call me Teacher Dian or Mrs. Dian. Well, to make this class excited, we have to do something like singing a song. I have one song and the little is Good Morning. Do you know that song? 
okay if you don't know that song i will give you an example of this song well after that you have to repeat the song with me in this class okay thank you i will start this i will start singing a song good morning good morning good morning how are you and then you have to answer with i'm fine i'm fine i'm fine thank you okay do you understand okay if you understand let's sing together good morning good morning good morning how are you i'm fine i'm fine i'm fine thank you say it once again good morning good morning good morning how are you i'm fine i'm fine i'm fine thank you okay give applause for us well anyone absent today okay i will check your attendance please mm. all of you there is no absent today well for the first section i want to ask to you um do you can hear or read and do you know the story of cinderella snow white and also the beauty and jabis do you know that story yes if you know the story have you ever read or hear that story yes of course all of us is already hear that story because that story is very famous in the world until now well what is all about can you answer yes please excellent that is a storytelling well what is storytelling based on the story you have read or you have heard very good storytelling is the way to do to present the story for the audience both in the form of words pictures photos and also sounds this technique is very useful for the audience to improve their listening skill well um, who want to deliver a storytelling for us yes of course all of us want to deliver a storytelling in this class well if you want to deliver storytelling you must have a good speaking quality ability understanding the characters in the story and also you have to good at managing tone and intonation as well as the skill of using aids storytelling techniques can be successful if you as a storytelling give the story and make the listener or audience understand with what you tell about in addition the moral message in the story is also obtained well so far are there any question okay if you don't have any question i will tell you a story that famous in the world and you must listen and sit down and listen the storytelling carefully okay let's start and the storytelling is in the my phone and you have to listen The story is about Cinderella. 
Once upon a time, there was a beautiful girl. Her name is Cinderella. She lived with her stepmother and her stepsister. She had two stepsisters. They were very bossy. Her mother was dead. So her father had married the woman who she called a stepmother. All the things about Cinderella was a mistake in her stepmother's eyes. Not only bossy woman, her stepmother was cruel and bad. She only gave all the nice things to her own daughters. No love at all with Cinderella got. Cinderella liked a civil servant in her own house. No cheer up at all, no nice rest and comfort place at all. It was like a hill. Cinderella only has a beautiful cat. It was funny and kind animals. It like a friend for Cinderella. Cinderella, come here, said her stepmother. Yes, mom, answered Cinderella. Clean my room and my bedroom. Don't forget cook for lunch now. But mom, I'm sick, said Cinderella. I don't care, answered her stepmother. There was an invitation to all the girls in that village to come to the palace. And the lucky girl would marry with the prince. Neither her stepsister was so happy, nor her stepmother. They tried to buy a beautiful new dresses, shoes, and all the beautiful and expensive stuffs. Cinderella even there asked to her stepmother, What about me, ma'am? And the answer would be, Hey, you dumb Cinderella, you just staying at home? to clean all the room, wash all the plate, scrub the floor. You know that Cinderella? You are ugly and prince never look at you even a bit. Cinderella ran to her room and cried. Oh God, why they are so cruel? Help me. Suddenly, the amazing happened to her. There was a burst of light and then the fiery appeared. Don't be sad, beautiful. I will help you, said fiery. The fiery changed Cinderella. She became beautiful with her new princess dress were on with a magic wand. The fiery make a beautiful shoes by her magic wand. It was like glass shoes. Cinderella went to the went to the ball by taking a pumpkin cart. But she must come back before a midnight gone. Because the magic would be over then. When Cinderella came to the ballroom and the beautiful palace, the prince so happy and laughed at the first impression and said, She would be my wife. But Cinderella was using a mask on that party. Who are you, beauty? asked the prince. But all of a sudden, the clock sound that midnight would over. It mean she must go home. She ran to her pumpkin. Wait, wait, asked Prince.
Cinderella lost her left side or of her glass shoes. But Cinderella just went and ran. I would find you, said Prince. He, after that party, would go to find a girl whose foot fits to the glass shoes. No one can be fit to the glass shoes. Until he went to Cinderella's home. But her stepmother didn't allow Cinderella out from room. Prince was depressed that her stepsister was not that girl until Prince saw Cinderella unexpectedly. Hey you, please come on. So amazingly that Cinderella is the only one who can fit it the glass shoes. You are that girl, I believe it, said the prince. After that moment, the prince had married to Cinderella and they lived happily forever. Okay, that is a story about Cinderella. Do you have ever heard that story? Mm, yes, of course, all right. This story is very famous in the world. All of you have ever heard that story. Well, are you happy? Yes, I'm happy to, to teaching you. Well, do you have any question for the topic of storytelling? Okay, very good. And also, do you have any question about the Cinderella story? Okay, thank you. I think this time is over. Now, I will give you an exercise at home. You have to search storytelling for one student. And for the next meeting, you have to present your storytelling and also the, the, your friends will listen your storytelling. You have to present it in the front of the class. Well, do you have any question with the exercise? Thank you. If you don't have any question, I hope you enjoy with my class and good luck for your exercise. Well, that's all for today. Thank you and see you for the next meeting. Goodbye. Well, that's all about my explanation about expository learning strategy especially in learning process in the classroom. Thank you for watching and see you for the next video. Goodbye.